Back in 1928, at St. Mary's Hospital in London, an untidy scientist discovered something interesting on his desk. After returning from a long vacation, he noticed that many of his culture dishes were contaminated with a fungus. His name was Alexander Fleming, and from the fungus came the wonder drug, penicillin. Through mass production methods, America is continually increasing its output of penicillin, the new drug that affects almost miraculous cures. Deadly to a wide variety of bugs, penicillin was the first of a range of powerful new antibiotics to forever change the face of medicine. But it's no match for the drugs produced by the animal hopping in to number two in the countdown. This is a wallaby, a type of small kangaroo found throughout Australia. It's a marsupial, which means that giving birth is easy. The female delivers an embryo about the size of a baked bean. The helpless baby has to immediately fight its way through the fur, moving from the birth canal to the milk-bearing teats. It takes the newborn Joey 100 days to develop its immune system, and yet it's able to fight off bacterial infections. Eager to find out how the Joey survives, researchers took a closer look at the mother's life-saving milk. They discovered the milk contains an antibiotic that is 100 times more effective than penicillin at killing many harmful bacteria. And it's hoped that one day this potent antibiotic may also become a human lifesaver, because even hospitals have become virulent war zones. There was a time that, thanks to penicillin, doctors believed the battle against infection was over. But then the bugs fought back. Inappropriate prescribing and overuse of antibiotics led to the formation of drug-resistant superbugs. And that's where the wallaby comes in. Scientists hope that the unique antimicrobial in wallaby milk can one day be used in hospitals to fight deadly antibiotic-resistant bacteria. That's how this furry Australian may soon be helping to save lives around the world. But it's still not the wildest physician in the countdown. We've seen the nine contenders. They've all prescribed some radical remedies. Only one animal is a more extreme animal physician. It's number one, and it's coming up next on Animal Planets, the most extreme. Wet your appetite with Kraft Tuscan House Italian. Made with real ingredients and absolutely no artificial preservatives, we invite you to experience pure taste, pure craft. Our search for the most extreme medic in the countdown finishes in the wetlands of America. Here you can find a relative of the frog called a salamander. These juveniles are entirely aquatic. But eventually they'll lose the gills on either side of their head and leave the water. The sexually mature adults are air breathing and walk around on four legs. However, across the border in Mexico, there's a type of salamander that never grows up.
Meet the axolotl. Adults keep their gills and spend their whole lives submerged. But there's a problem living in one of the most popular boating lakes in Mexico. All those propellers can cause some nasty accidents. But the axolotl is number one in the countdown because lost limbs mysteriously regrow. It can take just three months to replace a severed leg. Scientists are hard at work trying to uncover the secrets of the axolotl's amazing healing powers. So, if disaster strikes, perhaps one day, we too will be able to grow a whole new arm or leg. Southern United States, like creeping creatures from a monster movie, tens of thousands wreak devastation, and these menacing mobs may be here to stay. An insect super species, red imported fire ants. Fire ant encounters are very, very common. More common than bee, wasp, yellow jacket, and hornet. Meet a minuscule assassin. Fire ants can carry 10 times their own weight. That's like a 150 pound person lifting a barbell, weighing three quarters of a ton. But what makes fire ants so dangerous are their numbers. Queens can lay over a thousand new eggs each day, leading monstrous insect battalions to total destruction. These invading insects first arrived in the 1940s from South America carried aboard infested ships. Soon, they were unstoppable. For decades, people waged war with pesticides. Survivors were tenacious. In six months, a colony might grow to over 200,000, infesting dirt mounds like a living landmine. And when it comes to the kill, they use terrifying teamwork. Here, a baby chick meets a gruesome fate. Fire ant jaws latch onto flesh and drive in a burning, toxic abdominal stinger. The pain's so severe, it feels like being set on fire. And in humans, a chance encounter with a mob can quickly become an engulfing horror. Allergic stings may require amputation or induce anaphylactic shock. We see many, many more problems and serious reactions and even death in one year from fire ants than we would see over a decade from uh, venomous snakes. But a few years ago, scientists found a new combatant, fire ant versus forward fly. These flies are like little guided missiles, uh, biological smart bombs. They're specific to imported fire ants and that's the only kind of uh, organism that they're going to be able to attack. It's gross, but it works. A fly lands on the fire ant, laying an egg. The egg turns into an ant-eating maggot. A slow but effective kill. And the first sign of hope to fighting one of nature's most feared and fiery invaders. Belgium, May 2007. The invaders get even more destructive. Spring beckons. But up in these trees are dangerous intruders on a march of death, a fatal infestations destroying everything in its path. 
Meet the oak procession moth caterpillars. This tree's a skin-crawling nightmare. The bark is moving, alive with caterpillars. They actually get nose to tail and form a long line and go out to feed on the tree. And then when they're done from feeding for the day, they all come back in a long line. So it's like a procession, which is why they're called that. Discovered in the Netherlands more than 200 years ago and spreading fast, oak procession moth caterpillars feed on oak leaves and nothing else. Their devastating hordes come down to two frightening causes. First, genetic mutation. A hundred years ago, they grew immune to anti-pest sprays. Second, climate change. Unusually warm weather is creating prime conditions for destruction on a mega scale. And this gargantuan gang's packing a deadly weapon, their hairs. And they're called urticating hairs, and what that means is each one has a small amount of poison or toxin on it. When threatened, caterpillars can launch their hairs right off their backs like deadly torpedoes. Victims suffer skin and lung abrasions. They can even go into anaphylactic shock. And worst of all, the ancient oak tree's survival is in grave danger. In Belgium, one city's plan is zero tolerance. Workers crane up inside the oaks, hunt the insects, and burn the hair off their backs. Though some may feel it's a cruel technique, it's lethally effective. Yet for now, these marauding killers keep coming back. Another infestation is always imminent. Only time will tell whether this munching menace will win its terrifying turf war. Coming up on Weird, True, and Freaky. They're cute, cuddly, and killer. Discover the most destructive beasts down under. And later, deadly toxic pests invade a continent. Are they coming soon to a backyard near you? For some, it's the arm. Others, dead center. Or anywhere, off limits. Pets love couches. And so does their hair. Good thing there's Scotch Fur Fighter hair remover. Sheets with fur-grabbing fingers pick up even deeply embedded pet hair. Hair vacuums can leave behind. So let them play, roll over, or just chill. Scotch Fur Fighter, take the fur out of furniture. Excuse me, what sock is wider? Oh, that one. Seriously, that one. Oh. Which is wider? Beautiful. Excuse me, which is wider? Oh, the clock is wider. The difference is obvious. For the widest whites, use detergent, plus the advanced whitening formula of Clorox bleach. Hot dog. Kosher hot dogs only use the finest cuts of kosher beef. Not so with the other guys. That's why Hebrew National 100% kosher beef hot dogs have no artificial flavors or colors, fillers, or byproducts. They just might be the most delicious hot dogs on earth. No ifs, ands, or buts. Hebrew National 100% kosher beef hot dogs. We answer to a higher authority. Is that the hearty chicken rotini diet? It's the Manhattan clam chowder diet. It's different. It's the turkey noodle diet. It's working for you. Counting calories never tasted better because 25 of your favorite Progresso soups are 100 calories per serving. Is that chicken and wild rice? Yes. There is no ands or ifs about it. You're gonna get hurt. It's just how bad. Jockeys premieres Friday, February 6th at 9 on Animal Planet. Do you require portable oxygen? Are you afraid of running out of oxygen? Well, if so, discover the Evergo Portable Oxygen Concentrator. It's lightweight, battery-operated, and generates prescription oxygen from the air around you, whether you're at home, on the golf course, or just on the go. 
mean, it's so easy to use. I don't have to plan ahead. I can just go. No more refills, no more deliveries. Approved for airline use by the FAA. Evergo is your passport to traveling around the world. Evergo is intended for prescription use by patients requiring oxygen on a supplemental basis. It may be considered for continuous use in home, institutional, and travel mobile environments. Evergo may not be for all oxygen therapy needs. You should see your doctor to determine if it is right for you. Evergo gives me the freedom. To do what I want to do. Welcome to Life Without Limits with the Evergo Portable Oxygen Concentrator. Call 1-866-494-3904 to speak with an open-air representative now. We accept Medicare and private insurances. We brought them. Now we can't stop them. Decimating the food chain, they destroy almost everything in their paths. The unwelcome guests get worse, counting down the animal kingdom's most dangerous invaders. The Outback Australia. In some of the harshest terrain on Earth, a ruthless invader is causing shocking destruction. Over the last decades, man has tried to stop the devastation and met with frightening failure. Can these killer creatures be controlled? Meet the chainsaws of the Outback, European rabbits. Think these cuddly critters can't be dangerous? Think again. Incredibly, rabbits are so destructive, they're causing food chain genocide. Looking closely, this innocent digging looks harmless. But multiply it by millions, and it adds up to decades of soil erosion. The result is eco-annihilation. Introduced in the 1800s for sport and food, Rabbits have decimated an astounding one-eighth of Australia's native mammal populations. There's an estimated two to 300 million rabbits running wild, or more. And each year, they cause over $600 million worth of damage. How do these furry foes rage out of control? Australia's climate offers a petrifying rabbit petri dish. They can breed up to five times a year. Uh, every time they, they have a litter, they can have uh, four to seven young. So a single female rabbit can have up to 40 young in a single year. But tragically, their invasions led to horrific violence against them. In this archival film, rabbits were forced into fenced areas and brutally obliterated. Fortunately, such bloodthirsty attacks were ineffective and not legally sanctioned. Efforts to curb the numbers with disease-carrying mosquitoes and even a lethal virus brought down the rabbit population by a whopping 90%. But not for long. Many rabbits became immune. Any time that you introduce a virus, th there is a risk. Now, you could have this virus here for 10 years and have no problem, and then it could mutate, and you'd have the koalas dropping out of the trees or some other great icon of Australia's wildlife. Today, in a land where more native species have been lost to invaders than biologists can even count, rabbits remain a lethal threat. Cute but killer invaders on the rise. Tamworth, Australia, summer 2007. The invaders get nastier. A European board intruder strikes from the air, and a whole city's held hostage. Nauseating numbers nest in downtown trees. Horrified residents will do anything to take back the streets from an innocent looking bird that's anything but the starling. With up to 150,000 birds in a single flock, massive numbers equals massive pollution. Native to Europe, Asia, and North Africa, starlings were first released on this continent in the 1850s to control crop bugs. They soon took over, eating plants and seeds by the megaton. Starlings are aggressive, fast breeding, and foul. Fresh fecal matter becomes a projectile missile. The smell is sickening. 
and it gets worse. Easily inhaled, a natural fungus in the droppings attacks the lungs and body, causing disease and death, and no one knows how to stop them. Using water cannons, using lighting systems, using strobe lights, uh, using noise deterrents, trying to uh, distract the birds or discourage them from coming and roosting in the main street. To date, that's uh, been largely unsuccessful. Australia's worst fear? The bird flu. Starlings can carry a deadly virus called H5N1. The strain could contaminate birds, mammals, and eventually humans. No one knows the exact numbers of invasive starlings, but they can infest cities with single populations numbering a million and a half, and flocks can contain an astounding one million birds at a time. The World Wildlife Fund names starlings as one of the 100 most invasive species on the planet, an unwelcome avian menace. Coming up on Weird, True, and Freaky, the aliens get even more terrifying. Destructive wild dogs and their human prey. And later, airborne animals flying out of control, invading America's waters, becoming public enemy number one. Here's a Weird, True, and Freaky challenge. What notorious invasive fish species has inspired more than one horror movie? Is it A, Colossal Squid, B, Snakehead, or C, Great White Shark? The answer coming up. Chips, mate. Where do you think you are, London? Get the real deal with Long John Silver's $1.99 Fish and Fries. Served London style for a limited time only at Long John Silver's. Good morning. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm first in line for the no interest, no payments for one year appliance sale. Coffee? Hate to break it to you, but uh, we offer that every day. Every day? Take your time. Yeah, it's gonna wrap it up. It Pack the stove. It, we'll talk to you in there. No interest, no payments every day. TSears.com. Now through Saturday, save 20% on all Kenmore appliances and 10% on all other appliance brands. Sears Blue Appliance Crew. Kids learn by doing. Like this? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> no problem when Bounty's doing the cleanup. It's amazingly absorbent. And Bounty's so durable. One sheet keeps working till the job is done. Yeah. And if you need a paper towel that feels and works like a cloth, there's Bounty Extra Soft. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Hello everyone, Chris and Michelle here and welcome to Snap Funding, where you can get a brand new computer regardless of your credit history. Let's take a look. These fully loaded brand name computers put the world at your fingertips. You can send emails, download music and videos and get a handle on your finances. Chris, a lot of folks out there are struggling with bad credit these days. Can they really get a brand new brand name computer? Oh, absolutely. Listen, anyone with an active checking account and home phone number can get started right away. And with low payments of just $29.99, you'll get a brand name super fast computer loaded with free software. You can choose this desktop or the mobility of a laptop. Order now and you'll also get a free MP3 player, free web camera, and free printer, copier, scanner. So to be clear, your brand new brand name computer comes with awesome software, a webcam, MP3 player, and three-in-one color printer. Or choose our deluxe package that includes a free Nintendo Wii gaming system. There are no credit checks, so you will not be turned down, but you must call Snap Funding. Now. So what notorious invasive fish species has inspired more than one horror movie? The answer is B, 
only the snakehead is an invader, and these air-breathing, land-crawling fish have become the villain in two horror films, Snakehead Terror and Swarm of the Snakehead. It's weird, true, and freaky. Unstoppable infestations, breeding hordes, and petrifying pests. Whatever we do, they won't go away. The alien scourges get even scarier, counting down the animal kingdom's most dangerous invaders. The Australian countryside. In 1988, a destructive dog species is put on trial. A 10-week-old baby is kidnapped and killed and an entire continent shocked at the persistent pest turned assassin, the Australian wild dingo. Where did these fierce canines come from? Scientists trace the dingo invasion back 4,000 years from Southeast Asia, exact origin unknown. Since then, dingoes have made themselves dangerously at home, even in Australia's harshest conditions. And dingoes are hardly domestic. They can weigh over 100 pounds and sport longer canine fangs than their dog cousins. Their crushing, tapered jaws are built more like wolves. And they like to roam in frightening feral packs. They're known to target and kill valuable livestock, causing millions of dollars in damages or worse. Anytime you bring a, a new animal to a foreign land and you let them free, uh, like they did with the dingoes, they went out and became wilder as time went on, uh, started reproducing, and now we don't have a way to control them anymore. Now they're eating animals that were originally there and uh, upsetting ecosystems oftentimes. Dingoes keep making killer headlines. In 2001, dingoes mauled another child. They're lean, mean, and considered vicious pests. Against dingoes, many ranchers follow one rule, shoot to kill. Yet today, though feral dogs number in the millions, it's estimated 100% purebred dingoes will be extinct in 100 years. Some locals have embraced these killer canines as an Australian icon. Conservation and control remains controversial for this highly evolved animal invader, the Australian wild dingo. Vicksburg, Mississippi, 2006. The unwelcome intruders get even worse. They're ruthless invaders out of a fisherman's worst nightmare. U.S. Geological Survey biologist Jerry Rasmussen and a documentary camera crew travel the Mississippi River in search of one of the worst aquatic invasive species in history, Asian carp. When agitated by commotion in the water, like a boat's motor, these skittish swimmers take to the sky, and what goes up must come down. Stories abound of broken bones, black eyes, and fishermen getting the wind knocked out of them. If you've got a 20-pound fish jumping out of the water and you're going 20 miles an hour, it has been equated to uh, having been hit in the chest with a bowling ball. To assess the true carp crisis, these train trackers jolt the river with electricity. Carp multitudes lay just under the water. Asian carp, ground zero. These Chinese carp were first imported in the 1970s to keep ponds algae free, but the wily fish soon escaped. The fast feeding, fast breeding, flying missiles have already starved out native Mississippi River species in massive numbers. And the worst may be yet to come. Recent tagging data proves everyone's worst fears. The fish are headed north, straight to the Great Lakes, an ecological catastrophe waiting to happen. Invaders to the largest freshwater source in America. The U.S. Geological Survey and others are working fast to stop the invasion in its tracks. Today, more research and technology are needed. 
in the desperate fight to stop an underwater invader from destroying its own unnatural habitat. Up next on Weird, True, and Freaky, one taste of these invaders can kill. It's the worst unwelcome guest of all, and they may be unstoppable. At 6.30 in the morning, I have a cigarette, and then another on my way to work. At 10 on the dot, like clockwork, I have to go out for a smoke. And then I grab another after lunch. For me, smoking is more than just a habit. It's an addiction to nicotine. You know, quitting isn't easy. And when willpower isn't enough, it's time to talk to your doctor. If you want to quit smoking, there is something you can do. Go to MyTimeToQuit.com or call 1-866-575-1200 to get the information you need to make the most out of your conversation with your doctor. You can also sign up to receive tips on quitting and find out more about a prescription treatment option. It's 1135, and it's my time to quit. Hi, Katie. Come on in. Millions of people have put cigarettes behind them. This year, so could you. Make 2009 your time. Go to MyTimeToQuit.com or call 1-866-575-1200 now. Hot waffles. The smell of warm maple syrup. You know the smell after it rains? That's it. Leather-bound books. Classic. Whatever scents fill your household, Tidy Cat Scoop offers a new range of products specially formulated to neutralize odors in multiple cat homes, keeping your house smelling like it should, smelling like home. New Tidy Cat Scoop. Keep home smelling like home. Spreading scourges, killer creatures, and alien infestations gone AWOL. Breeding and feeding out of control counting down the animal kingdom's most dangerous invaders. It's the creepiest and deadliest invasive species of all. Australia's Northern Territory, March 2007. Notorious invaders have penetrated Kakadu National Park. Killer amphibians outbreeding and outfeeding everything around them with no signs of stopping. Bufo Marinus, the cane toad. Fast on their feet and ravenously hungry, they're spreading nearly 25 miles per year. The estimated cane toad population is now over 200 million. Farmers first imported South American cane toads from Hawaii in 1935 to control crop-destroying cane beetles. The plan went horribly wrong. The cane toads couldn't reach the high-clinging bugs, so they went on to eat almost everything else, growing to massive proportions. They can get up to nine and a half inches long, and they can weigh up to four pounds. And uh, they have voracious appetites because they're so big, they eat a lot, and they'll eat almost anything. Basically, anything they can fit into their mouths, they'll eat. And cane toads have the highest reproductive rate of any invader on the continent. This female can lay up to 35,000 eggs at one time, and she may repeat the feat twice in a single year. Worse yet, cane toads are lethal. Under their skin, toxic glands secrete a thick, milky poison. Animals who dare to prey on these invaders soon discover their first taste is their last. Australia's ultimate fear, cane toads will continue to colonize and take over. But there may be an unlikely savior. A common parasite called the lungworm was recently discovered in cane toads. It weakens adults and kills up to 30% of their young. It's a potential warrior in the battle against Australia's most terrifying toxic invader. 
Imported by man, driven by nature, they wreak havoc, destroying ecosystems, causing death and destruction. The more they rage out of control, the more we have to fight to undo the damage of the animal kingdom's most dangerous invaders. It's weird, true, and freaky. Be really careful, okay. okay? Now what I need you to do is go down here to the next exit. You can see the green sign right there. Mm -hmm. Take the exit, go underneath the freeway, get back on. Denver is that way, hey. not this way, okay? What's wrong with having a nice No illegal substances were found. Okay. Driver That's and passenger exactly. were allowed to leave. Now, from the files of the Maine State Police, the dramatic story of Trooper Kevin Kern. The reenactment is as it happened, with Maine State Troopers portraying the people in our real story. <laughs> 